Alright you guys, welcome back to another episode of Forest Village, and in today's episode, in case you can't tell, I don't have any makeup on! This is all natural, just because it's so freaking hot here, and I didn't want to sweat off the makeup. But there's a couple things I want to do in this video today. One of them is building this pyre here, because we've been alive in this place for quite a while, and I think we should start preparing for the sad future that people will end up dying. So there's that. I did add another barn over here just so that I can kind of have all barns in one place. Game lag. Stop lag. Ah! It's so, it's too pretty that the game just freaks out. But I do need to get rid of the barn here in town so that we can have more space in town here. I was thinking for some other little facilities or something like tiny things that we can do. But then I also want, on top of that, what is it? A school? Yeah, I want a school. Uh, forestry, lumberjack, stone quarry. We also need to get more stone. That'll be a good thing to get. But we re what is this? Fish farm? Oh. Fancy. Breeding fish for food. That's not bad. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Uh, maybe another day, though. Another time. Let's see, but I really need to get a school built before I get too used to having them grow up so quickly. Because as soon as we get a school, I'm sure they'll be delayed before they can start working. Um, right here, school? School. Here we go. Of course it takes a lot of wood. And we need all the wood we can get for winter. Ugh. Well, I'll just have them chop down a ton of wood. That would probably be the best. Oh, I didn't realize I was paused. Um... I kind of want it down here because this will have like bigger houses and such compared to over here. This is like a little bit tinier and it doesn't have a radius so we know the kids will still go to school anywhere. Although I should probably flatten everything, huh? Because it's really not that flat and like right here it's uneven. Yeah, let's try flattening it first and getting more resources like wood so that we can actually build it without losing our firewood options because that would be bad. Um, we've had a lot of babies get born, man. Where is this? Laborer died from hypothermia. That's great. That's just great. Flatten the ground. I cannot see with the snow. I need the snow to go away. Can the snow please go away? Ugh. Sometimes being too pretty is actually a problem. <laughs> I'm sure said no one in the real world. I just had like five adults die from hypothermia. This is bad. This is really bad. I told them to stop collecting resources so far away now since they're all dying so far away. I just, I can't, I can't deal with how stupid some NPCs are because this is just being really stupid and I still can't see. This is so, I can't like, I need to see where the roads are so that I know where I can flatten everything. Oh my God, more people, stop. All my adults are dying. <laughs> Good timing with the pyre. Where is all of our firewood? Logs. Where is our firewood anyways? Am I just blind? Why don't we have any? We have six people working. Like, the hell, people? What is going on? How did we run out like that? Oh my god, I'm so... Mm. <laughs> so we barely survived. We lost, like half the babies that had been born last year and then about a good chunk like five or so adults which was just so unfortunate the whole winter was just unfortunate so now i have them stockpiling up and we put down another two uh wood cutters right here and here where we used to have a warehouse and nothing so we will definitely have more than enough people working on chopping wood throughout the winter as well as prepping for it prior instead of doing like i would do six during the winter people employed dog you're loud and then you can see him in the camera. Hi, that, that's Plu. Bye, Plu. And then um, one during the rest of the year. So I figured it'd probably be best to stockpile a bit more. And so I'm, right now I have six people employed, but I'll probably bring it back down to three. Eventually, I just want to get all the way back up to the 500 like I want. And then uh, it's time to place down the school because we flattened out this area here, which is right where I want it to go. I want it to be right in this corner. So like as close as possible to, okay, that looks like as close as possible. And then I know it's got that little like 
staircase there. I think I'll do like right there. We don't have enough hay or wood, but, but we should hopefully get enough of that. I don't know. We'll see. I keep telling them to chop down as much as they can over here as resources, but hay is always difficult to find. I wonder if I can grow hay. Because it doesn't seem to want to grow. If that makes sense. Like, as soon as you get rid of it, it's, like, gone. Maybe that'll be a thing later where I can actually grow it as a crop. It probably is. I'll have to Google it, though. But, yeah, that's the plan. So, let's build up the school. Hopefully before winter comes. But I don't know how lucky we're going to be about that. Oh, it did push over this wall. I don't know if I like that. I mean, it's okay, but can I build a walkway here? Oh, I can. Oh. Okay, oh, that's too wide. I didn't know it was too wide. I kind of want this all to be flat, like at the same height. Um, let's go ahead and flatten it real quick. So, here, let's do to here. Raise it. I don't want to raise it that high. Just a little bit flatter than it is now. E I don't like that. Okay, let's try it like this. Okay, maybe about here. It jumps up in height so much. That's what I don't like about it. Like, I'd rather have it have a gradual slope versus anything crazy. Okay, let's hope that looks good. <laughs> Alright, so we survived the winter just barely with four deaths, which is why that pyre is all lit down there. Because they just didn't, like, I don't know why they don't actually continually work. Like, I get you need to take breaks and things like that, but there's like 12 people, and I would only see three at a time ever working. It doesn't make any sense to me. So now we're going to go ham on the on the firewood this year before we hit. Because we had like 400 stored when we got hit with winter. And now I'm going to try to get to 800 and see if that helps. And we do have a raider ship that was spotted like over here. Yeah, and we don't have anyone doing our hunter's work right now. Just because... Let's pause this one. Do we need much flax? The answer is no. Let's pause this one too. So let's only do eight and get those extra potatoes going. Um, it's just so sad. <laughs> Basically, it's so sad. We've had so many people die, but we did get the school built. So we're going to have six uh, kids trained up eventually once they're done here. Yeah, you kids in there, you learning. Y'all be learning. Huh? You learning? Hello, sir. I'm going to walk around in the schoolhouse. That's how they learn. They just stand in front of the teacher. <laughs> this looks creepy. This looks very creepy. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to click maybe number two. Yeah, like that. Let's just screenshot this. It looks kind of like a cult, let's be honest. A little bit. Why is there a room here but no way into said room? Oh, okay. It's very interesting. Well, I'll let you do your learning. <laughs> Strange. But hey, I, I'm hopeful that this year we'll actually survive the winter. Maybe? I just... Uh, we can't make it anywhere if we just keep dying, honestly. That's the problem. We just can't keep going on like this if we keep dying. So, one more year and hopefully we don't die. <laughs> so I disappear to go grab some jello. I mean, pudding. <laughs> and I come back and everything's on fire because the, ban the raiders are already here. My god. I wish I was paying more attention. Let's go kill them because we have no hunters. And let's kill a bunch of things. Hi lady, where are the other raiders at? Sir, where are the other raiders? Oh, they might be down there. Ah, that looks plausible. I know you say you're extinguishing a fire, but you're really not. Dude, move. I'm very surprised that all I do is light fires. 
Why doesn't this hit? Seriously, why doesn't this actually hit? Okay, that one's down. That one's down. I think that's it. My poor schoolhouse, though, man. And all that, too, I guess. But <laughs> my schoolhouse is the most important thing, because we just got it built. Ugh. I think they come in threes only. Hopefully. <sighs> but at least they've been taken care of now. Oh, wait, no, another building's on fire? I guess that's not all of it. Dump the water, dump the water. Oh, you're a cute little girl. I'm gonna use you to kill some people. Where's the big bad guy at out here? Where is he? Hmm. Maybe it just caught on fire by itself? Possibly? Because I don't see anyone. Hmm. Strange, strange. Oh my god, there's another one here! Gosh darn... Human beings, why can't you be more defensive? Seriously. What's the X for? I don't know. Need someone to build, maybe? Oh, they attacked my warehouse. Let's have someone start building, I guess. Oh my gosh. This is just a great year, isn't it? Great year already. Who's lighting it? I can't see a thing. What? It's someone here, but I can't see anything. Like, what keeps happening? I don't understand. I don't see a raider. Do they just keep lighting themselves on fire because they're so close in proximity? I don't get it. You know what? No. No, 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 no. We're gonna just let it... Let it burn. Because no one's working there. Just let it go. Let it go, guys. Just let it go. Let it go! Because y'all can't do it fast enough! Oh my god, for Pete's sake! This is ridiculous! We're wasting so much time on three buildings we don't even use! Let it burn! Oh my god. Is it finally done? Because if it is, then I'll cancel the demolition, but seriously. This is just ridiculous. Ugh. Good news is, we survived two winters without anyone dying. And you can see here, the only people who did die was by old age. Yeah, I've been building a lot of roads. Just kidding, it won't let me go back that far. But only people who died were two people from old age, which is understandable, because we've been here for a while. But I did go ahead, in case you can't tell, I've cleared out a lot more trees because we needed it to keep up with our firewood. And then I created this long road here, which leads us out to our new hunters and gatherers and herbalists section over here. So they'll actually keep having a forest. I plan to like chop down this direction and grow the city out this direction and then leave the other half like just for wilderness things, which is kind of the plan. The only problem is we are running out of food. <laughs> And so hopefully this harvest will keep us over. If not, we're really in some problematic waters, basically. But that'll be a whole situation to handle in the next episode because I'm about to end this one. Um, I did have to rebuild the school, which meant I needed more clay. So I had to actually build a clay pit for the first time. Tornado. Oh, this one's actually really close. But yeah, so we have a clay mine over here, which has been doing pretty good. We got two people working out there. It's not bad. Actually, we don't really need more clay right now, so let's just stop working and y'all just chop down trees and stuff. But yeah, things have been going pretty well. We finally have kids going to school. Hopefully it stays that way and it doesn't get burnt down by anything or attacked by a tornado, which is looming off of the coast. We will see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you have anything you like to comment. Subscribe if you're new, because I'm trying to hit a 500 subscribers. We're so close. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye, guys.